Welcome back to the Morning, Noon, and Night Show. You've probably had quite a bit of wine and probably a lot of food over the weekend, but now it's time for some delicious coffee. I'm joined by Starbucks Director of Coffee Education, Scott McMartin. How are you? Good morning, Sarah. I'm great. Yourself? Good to see you again. Thanks so much. It's fun being here last year. Glad it, to be here again today. Absolutely. And you know what? It's really good to see you because I need somebody bringing coffee, not wine. We're here for you. We're here for you. <laughs> Director of Coffee Education. What does that mean? I'm in charge of all the uh, educational programs for all of our 150,000 employees that we call partners at Starbucks. So wow. I teach them how to taste coffee, hopefully. Well, not me, a group of people. And um, hopefully they're able to, to share the difference of Starbucks and kind of quality that we buy at Starbucks with uh, our customers every day. So that's the idea of my job. As I say, you're probably very busy if you're training 150,000 yes, people. Yes, indeed. Um, so tell us a little bit about how you can taste coffee and really treat it. Because you guys really you know, approach coffee as mm. if it is a wine. It pairs with food. There's a way to drink it. Give us that's a little right. insight into that. That's right. Sure. We're, um, we're basically here at the Classic to share that experience of coffee being culinary and the fact that uh, geography is kind of a flavor. So the last gentleman spoke about wine. Coffee terroir is quite similar. Mm -hmm. So we're going to taste coffee in a few seconds here. And okay. the idea is that we do uh, four things. We slurp the coffee. We uh, kind of smell the coffee. And then we, of course, drink it and taste it and then describe the uh, the flavor. So we're, we're grading acidity, body, flavor, and aroma are the big four criteria. Okay. Similar to the wine world. So that's that's really what it's all about. So Very in simple. this case, slurping isn't rude. You're supposed to do it because... It's, and why does that help you taste it? We're uh, two fancy words here. Uh, aspiration. Okay. Which really means uh, atomizing the palate and spraying the top of your palate. And the less pleasant thing, which is expectoration, which okay. of course means spitting. Ah. So we slurp and spit really to, um, in many cases, to evaluate quality control and not to drink uh, seven or eight hundred cups of coffee when we're evaluating quality samples. So You'd be up for days. Exactly. exactly. And now, you guys, this is your second year with involvement yes. with the Food and Wine yes. Classic. And why did you feel it was a good partnership when there is, you know, a focus obviously mostly on wine and stuff? Right. But you guys have really loved being a part of it. You know, we, uh, again, coffee is such a, a great natural pairing with food. And we've been lucky enough to pair with some great chefs last year and this year. And today what we're going to taste together is uh, Bisous Blend, which is a collaboration with uh, Jacques and Claudine. So Very we, we cool. had a chance to spend a day with each one of them, uh, a day with Jacques at the French Colony Institute and a day with Claudine in, in Denver. Right. And we came up with this fantastic blend, which is all East African copies available just at the Classic, just today. So we hope people come and check that out for us. And is that something you're going to be doing more of, where you pair with chefs or pair with people and they make their own we, blend? Certainly we've had great success the last two years, so we hope to keep that up. So it's been a lot of fun and uh, all, the, all the attendees of the Classic think it's a natural fit and we, we agree. What do you think about the Seri blend? Uh, it could be. Mm -hmm. could be. Let's taste this one. I'm up for, it, up for it if you want. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yay, coffee. So excited. So happy it's not mine. Okay, cute little cups. Thank you. Yeah, these uh, these black cups are, are part of our coffee master program. So okay. if you see guys in our stores or girls wearing black aprons, mm -hmm. they're um, my special team that's involved with a different level of coffee education where there really are in-house sommeliers, if you will, for coffee. Oh, so those are, cool. those are our experts, and we call them coffee masters. And they're indicated by the black apron. Correct. Very Correct. cool. Okay, so teach me how to taste All right, this So coffee. the idea is first we're going to smell. Okay. I love the smell of coffee. So what are, you, what are you getting here? A little bit, little bit floral, maybe, picking up some flowers or some some fruit. Sounds like a funny thing to say about a cup yeah, of coffee, so but it's true. Yeah, so that's hard for me. I have to kind of re redo my thinking. So African coffees, okay. which is what we're tasting today, are, are known for having a, a lot of acidity, which okay. is a positive thing in coffee. They're okay. very bright. They have a lot of citrus. Okay. And also a little bit of maybe black currants. You smelling that at all? Yeah, actually now more that you say, I have to kind of you know think exactly. about it. So let's go ahead and slurp. Now follow my lead okay. here slowly. Okay, okay slowly. Okay. Right. Like a hot soup. <laughs> You're natural. You're Thank natural. Thank you. So now you've tasted the coffee. What's what's left on your palate right now? Well, I definitely taste the floral now. Okay. And it's quite citrusy. A little bit of grapefruit, maybe? Yeah. So very characteristic of East African coffees, as I said, that bright, citrusy, uh, lively effervescence on your palate. You okay. getting that? Yeah, yeah. All no, right. no, completely. Fantastic. And it, it tastes very, I mean, it's very. It's a very unique flavor for coffee. Right. right. And so, you know, just like you said, we talked about the terroir with, um, with, wine that you really can taste the land as well Absolutely. in coffee. So the, the big factors which influence coffee's flavor are processing, which is how you're removing that cherry um, from the coffee bean which is in the inside. Okay. Kind of, a, kind of the pit of the cherry. It doesn't sound very romantic, but that's really what a coffee bean is. Okay. And altitude, microclimate, soil, all those things are, are huge factors in how the coffee ends up tasting. So altitude these are, affects everything, I think. It really does. It really <laughs> does. And you know our roast is a little bit darker than mainstream coffee at Starbucks and we need high altitude coffees to be able to stand up to that roast and still deliver this great flavor that you have in the cup today. So, What would you say this pairs well with in terms of food? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because we brought a little something for you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this is um, this is a cannelé, which, uh, which is a really beautiful uh, recipe from Jacques' new book. Okay. So this was made specifically to pair with this coffee. So oh, wow. it's a little bit caramely. Okay. And uh, amazingly enough, we were able to use Starbucks liqueur as an oh. ingredient because this calls right. for rum. So we use Starbucks liqueur to deliver a little coffee flavor. So see if you, see if you get that. Okay. Mm, delicious. Oh, my God. Really nice. Mm. Now I taste the coffee. Um, breakfast food or dessert? Either way. 
Delicious. Really? Okay. This is fabulous. This is the best tasting I've done all morning. And it really does bring out the flavor in the coffee. I think so. And there's a little bit of so. fruit in the cantaloupe too, so it kind of pairs with the fruit. Is You're that picking right? up a little bit of the note from the, 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 the Starbucks coffee liqueur, okay. which adds a little bit of, uh, of sweetness and, again, a great natural pairing back to the coffee, which has so much of that nice fruit that we are just talking about. Absolutely. This is delicious. Now, one more quick question because mm -hmm. we're running out of time. Now, obviously, tasting something like this was made by Jacques and Claudine. You really want to taste it, whatever. But right. should we be doing that with our morning coffee, or is it really just safe for special blends? You know, I, I think food pairing with uh, with coffee and, and wine is, is a fun thing to do at parties. Um, we encourage people to grab a French press like this. Yeah. But don't just take one. Um, have a coffee party, have two or three of these, and then start to compare and contrast the flavors the same way you do with a wine tasting. Okay. And it's a fantastic uh, breakfast time experience as well as a, a post-indulgence, post let's Absolutely. say. Absolutely. So French press is the way to go. I think so. Longest, longest contact time, four minutes when you brew this. Okay. Uh, no electricity needed. Basic way to make coffee and really the purest expression. It's full extraction. You get a lot of great flavor. Good to know. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Cheers. I learned so much from you again. every time we see you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers our coffee. Just like we cheers right. our wine. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Okay, fantastic. Right. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Scott McMartin, Director of Coffee Education for Starbucks. Great cup of coffee. I'm going to sip this right now as we go to a break. I'll be back. Mm -hmm.